So Sherry, would you like to show us our van, please? Because I hardly even know it's an RV. It looks like a ProMaster, but it's an RV. It's kind of stealth, so. It's super stealth. Come uh, on. Let's show let's, us around. Let's go. This is a Dodge Ram ProMaster. I was one of the lucky ones to get one before Amazon snagged it from me. So anyways, <laughs> this is the exterior, Scott. And as you said, it's pretty stealth. One of the great things about Embassy is they don't like to cut holes and things. So if you travel along here, you're not going to see any yeah. of the, I mean, right? The gas tank. The gas that, tank, for uh, sure. You know, right. that's a... A normal van thing. This running board is huge and lovely though, huh? This running board is huge and lovely. It really is. It's It helps sometimes when I'm washing the van, I can step up on it yeah, and get right? up high. Yeah, you know? no kidding. It's really yeah, for sure. fantastic. So now, when I'm seeing one this. One thing you'll notice yeah. here are the scuffers. Uh, that's what Perry scuffers. at Embassy calls them. And there's four of them on the van. There's one here and there's one at the back. So what and, is a scuffer? And then they're they're on uh, each side. So what they are is they're actually, instead of cutting a hole in the roof for the Max Air fan, oh. he puts these air vents on the side, makes it look much more stealth. Yeah. And two of them draw air in and two draw air out. So it's really, a, and it's a 12 volt system inside. So Super you don't have cool. to have the inverter on to run it. So again, you see nothing, nothing, yeah. nothing. It's all, it's a window van. That's right. That, that they convert. So this and is kind of cool. What's this bad boy? This is the smart plug. Oh, it does for look the smart. electricity. And so, my favorite color, orange. Who doesn't like that? That's right, exactly. So that's about the only thing that's added on here. What's this little guy down there here? There is. This is the outlet. So the van has a, a heater, an S bar heater in it, and so when you run the heater, this is the uh, just the venting out of it. The other thing is that you, if you look far enough underneath, will be the where you empty the oh, gray yeah. water. Gray tank, sure. So there's just a PVC pipe under here and it pulls out and then you would empty the gray tank. But I that's gotcha. really all. Wow, that is super stealth. Yeah. I'm like, where's the valves? Where's the where's the connection? Where's that's your right. hose? That's yeah. Right. And um, then as you come along this side of the van, about the only thing you'll notice here is oh, yeah. a rear view camera. So that is... Uh, this helps and other than that there's nothing here your standard trailer hitch trailer hitch the cool thing about it is i haven't even looked at it but underneath there oh right here is a spare tire the original spare tire oh yeah look at that boys and girls holy cow and that does not come on most ram conversion that's right. vans that's super unusual so and the reason why we can have that is because everything is really inside the van none of uh we don't have a black tank uh, we have about a, a 12 gallon capture system underneath, but that's it. You know, everything is as it was when you got the van. Wait a minute, we're pausing here. Did I hear you say there's no black tank? Well, how can you, so you go potty in your van? I mean, how does this work? Is there a toilet? There's a I toilet? I do, yeah. It's so, a, you know, that's a popular subject amongst RVers <laughs> when, you're, when you're ordering your van. What kind of toilet are you gonna have? That's one of the things that drew me. I mean, I probably could have um, emptied a, black tank but one less thing to do so i have a composting toilet inside ah. so i do not have a black tank so you'll be happy to show us your composting toilet here shortly yeah <laughs> so that's cool no black tank in an embassy rv yeah and they do give you several choices of the type of toilet um but so that's... there are some considerations so it's just not a standard and that way too it's really more of a four season because i don't have to worry about that black tank yeah, in the winter season. time and no stuff freezing. like that or three seasons inside yeah Great point. all yeah. right let's keep going around all right and again super stealthy right yeah. boys and girls so I mean, here's the scuffer that's right there's on that side and there's one but there it's all like glass it's just glass windows i mean the only giveaway is up here and you might even think it's like a catering van yeah because of a big chilling unit exactly uh, uh because of, there is the ac because i have the ram pro master i have the ac on top but the other models of the embassy uh sprinter based and transit they have a split ac and so they don't even cut a hole in the roof there's nothing even on the roof so it makes it even more stealth wow that's yeah. pretty much so it about the only thing that's cut into the sides of the vans are the, the air scuffers. scuffers for the vents which is probably and then the electrical so pretty and small and then in my case the promaster and the, the promaster with the air conditioning on top is eight feet 11 inches so it I don't Pretty have short. To, yeah, yeah. I, there's not a lot of concern about going under Clarence. bridges or driving on roads. 
Sherry, you mentioned ground clearance and this van's not lifted. It's kind of got the standard ground clearance because the lowest point of the vehicle in a Ram is the axle. It's about seven inches off the ground. Yeah. You just have the standard oh. seven inches. And that's been okay so far. Yeah, it's been fine. And uh, would you like to come inside and see <laughs> Sherry, inside? We would love to see inside. There's We're always two sides to every van. <laughs> that's great. Well, welcome to my van home called Mungu Bariki, which is Swahili for God bless. Go ahead and step in and let's talk about the great room, Sherry. Uh, and point out some of the kind of unique embassy features. I think this is one right off the, right off the bat, which is this bar that holds up the seat. I wish Winnebago would have done this on mine because it makes this seat back more practical, right? Right. It, it not only holds up the seat, but it's a great handle for those people who have trouble getting right. in and stepping into the van. Yeah. And again, this huge, wide step. I mean, that's my foot. Right. And there's actually outside... Um, or you can get the storage underneath the seat. Here. Oh yeah, so there's storage so right there's there. Storage Look at that. Holy cow. That is a lithium battery, but there is some extra storage. Now this isn't on all models. This actually is called a traveler model or they're kind of renaming it. So it's the Dolphin S, but I still refer to it as a traveler, traveler. right? And it will look similar to a, a Winnebago K yeah. uh, layout in similar. that respect, yeah. but yeah. So the seats um, spin around both of them? Yes, they do. So that this makes you able to have a bunch of folks right here. So here's a lagoon table mount. Yep, Everybody there's a lagoon table that. mount here. So you can put a and table I have, and then spin around. Yep, and I have two more lagoon table mounts. So so this is really smart because you can place the table where you want it being forced mm -hmm. by the manufacturer to put it one place and you're having to deal with the table whether you like that location or not. So Right, and the other thing I can do with this is this is actually where the water heater is, but I can... This is actually the extension, so if someone sleeps on this side of the bed, this pulls out. So we went from the great room to the bedroom. Right I know, away. right? <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> but this, I can also take outside of the van, oh, so and I can mount a table. a table on it. Yeah, right. Or we can host happy hour, which has been done. Which has been done. <laughs> Especially when they spin the seats around, right? I mean, it's really yeah. pretty mm -hmm. magic. And super simple. No mechanics, just a little bit of gravity and muscle power. Mm -hmm. Really interesting. Yeah. Um, Sherry, I noticed up above you have a little storage here. I do. And you have a little storage here and some mood lighting. I love that. Yeah. Well, that's um, actually from Christmas, but I tend to think Christmas should be every day, every right? Day. Christmas in July. Christmas is a big in July. Thing, so the Christmas spirit's turn alive. Down, right. Um, so what is this? I'm very curious. Oh wow! Well, you gotta, yeah, you you better back up for this. So, this is the entertainment. What? So we go back into the living room. Look at that. This is a. The seat needs to be pushed forward for that to come yeah. down fully. But uh, this is ginormous. How big is this? Do you know? I think this is a 32 inch TV. 32 inch TV in a Class right. B van. That's almost unheard That's of. That's right, and it doesn't take up any more space because it just gets built right up here into the roof and this kind of showcases embassy mm -hmm. ingenuity innovation and engineering i think boys and girls to do this there's i don't think i've ever seen a van have this in it right and this is embassy. a feature of the traveler layout i know there's a there's another layout called the duo and someday i'm sure you'll you'll film one of those but they have a, a tv that's mounted that you can spin around yeah because normally they're mounted here that's and there's right. a big cabinet mm -hmm. so this is but this one cool. drops out of the ceiling if you get the traveler mount so how much muscle power does it take to put this up no it's not a lot just that that's it that's easy so I, not a tricep workout yeah, which is well, good. a little bit, but it's not really, it's not that heavy. So my attention then is called to this, which is, so this is your inverter. This nope, is, this oh. is the control for the vents. Oh, I see. So those this scuffers is, oh, that yeah. were outside, right. yeah, you can turn it on. Oh, instead of dimmer, it's actually the fan speed. Yeah. I got mm -hmm. you. This is the pulling one, I guess. Yeah, because yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, then the other one's over here. Oh yeah. And that's on high, almost high speed over here. So that's really... Yeah, that's that's high. That's high. So it's a little noisy, but... Well, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, it puts out a fair amount of air, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. Way more than what I would experience, which is a, my ceiling fan, and then trying to pull air in. Because what I find, the air is pulled in and up to right. the ceiling and out. So it actually gets no air in this that's area right. here, whereas this pushes the air and into this. And if who's ever sleeping on this side, this spins around and you can oh, direct yeah. that air. You can kind of direct it where you need to a little bit. 
That is super awesome. Mm -hmm. well, let's turn these down. Or off? Maybe it's off. It doesn't huh? matter, sure. All right. That is super interesting. And this is just a decorative element? Yeah, it's a panel. Oh, access that, panel. Yeah, that so yeah, covered. so okay. Terry builds in. He wants to put all of the wiring and everything. So if you have service, that they can get to the wiring wherever they are, so they don't have to tear out things. So that's just lovely um, held on with heavy duty Velcro he stuff Velcro, that can. Right? I know. Yeah. <laughs> so and great. in fact, that is one of the things of Embassy. They don't use any n nails or screws. It's all. Um, just Velcro and everything, so you can drive it for five years, three years, whatever, and so you're not gonna find loose screws falling down out of nowhere. And so again, no wood in Embassy RV, so they use really high grade uh, marine plastic, we'll call it, but mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very different approach. So it gives a, to my eye at least, a really clean, but not slick feel, even right. though there's a little bit of sheen to it. Mm -hmm. um, and even the latching system's different. Can we take a peek on sure. cabinet number one? Sure, you just one? press that. And uh, oh, sure, not, not very organized in there, but that's okay, I'm that's not full okay. time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's really uh, very easy to open, goes like that. Yeah, so beautiful. And this is marine vinyl, actually. So Terry uses a lot of things from the boating industry, and what that's going to mean is in five years, there's going to be no um, water, like if you get water inside here, everything is marine plastic, marine vinyl, you just wipe it up. You're not going to have any mold, mildew, rot. Yeah, swelling that, wood, stuff that like that. Happen. Yeah, yeah for um, sure. No laminates falling off. Yeah, and then he puts these uh, he, he puts these individual switches on the lights. So I can turn this one off, but yet I can leave this one on. Oh, that's nice. You know, so I can um, control that a little bit. And this then, is... And there's, so there, this is my access panel. The, I, I'll show you where an easier one to capture, okay. but there's one here. So if I'm sleeping here at night and I want to turn the lights off, oh, sure. I can just control everything from there. Yeah, that's cool. Or if I'm out and about in my inside here, he's got an access panel here. So Same cool. thing. Right. Really. And then he also puts one up by the driver's seat. So if you drive off, like oh, I yeah. did the first time and forget to turn the lights off. Yeah, go ahead. You know what that... <laughs> what I have to do, if I do that and I do it somewhat you regular, to pull over. I gotta pull over, put it in park, and not bump my head, and then go find the switch. That's right. Uh, yeah. So right here, it's just yeah. a super owner convenience, right from the driver's seat. So smart. Um, let's look at over here. So I see a, a DVD player. Yeah, a DVD player and also an HDMI. So what's great about that is the TV itself has an antenna. He builds in an antenna so you can scan for channels and sometimes I pick things up, but a lot of us use streaming services these days. So right. instead of sitting here with my iPad or my phone watching a movie, I can actually access it, plug it into Just the HDMI into and press it up onto the screen. Right yeah. Um, I love how you personalize it. Uh, it's just, it's so homey. I know something about making a van a homie, so good job. Let's talk about the windows, because I think their approach here is quite different. Uh, so these are clearly shades that go up and down. There's mm -hmm. the, but there's no bug screen, because these windows don't open, right? Right, they don't open, and some people are concerned with that. And I, at first I was kind of concerned too, but there's a couple of things, really, because you have the air scuffers coming in, you have the AC, you can get uh, screens for your cab windows. That's right. You yeah, know. that's a good point. If you haven't seen that video, um, another embassy owner, uh, Greg, makes <clears throat> screens that are very secure that fit in the in the window on the driver's side and on the passenger side. And if you haven't seen that video, check that out. Uh, you yeah. can buy those screens for They're us. They're well worth it. And yeah. he makes them for ProMasters, Sprinters, and Transit. So, that is so they're awesome. the best. And you can even put those in and run a little fan, too, to pull the air, more air around yeah. if you if you need to so yeah. here we're looking at this is okay so this is the heater system it's a s-bar heater which is used in a lot of buses in the united states and truckers use it so basically you press that button and then it will come on and you will it says it's off right now so that's the heater and then basically I can just spin this dial and I can choose how many minutes I want the heater to run. There's even an infinity setting. So a lot of times if it's cold yeah. overnight, I just set it to infinity. 
and then um, press it on and it fires up and then I can um, turn the fan on two there. different yeah. fan speeds. Okay. And one of the claims to fame here is um, it's drying off the fuel tank. It doesn't have a separate that's, that's heat source correct. like propane. There's no yeah. propane in an embassy. If I'm plugged in, it will use electricity. But if I'm not, it just sips uh, very tiny amounts of gas. And you sponsor a lot of kids around the world, helping them get better lives. I do. So you just, mentioned my decor in the van. Yeah. And so it's just, it just so happens these pillows that I got from sponsored families in El Salvador, some artwork from sponsored families in Kenya, um, this is some, uh, this is from some sponsored families in India. So I thought it was very unique when I started to decorate the van. I'm like, all these colors go together. <laughs> I collected these things. They do, right? But I do. Yeah. So let's talk about the galley. So we've got a microwave up here. Yep, a microwave up here. That's a standard, not a convection. That's, that's right. That's, that's cool. That's right. And um, then Embassy also provides you with an induction one burner cooktop. Okay, which could go here which when you're ready to do Which could go here, which is great. or you can put it on the lagoon table. Okay. Um, and then... Kind of a residential sink. Yep, residential huge. sink here. Huge, huge, huge. And a mm -hmm. residential faucet yeah. with a nice cover, so this is really quite uh, large, Yeah, frankly. and it, they, they do it pretty good. I mean, it, it doesn't rattle around when right. I drive. So it's very, very a good. A little bit there. of storage down here. Yep. So then, and then what Terry does for these cabinets, and he's always very good. He just opens that with his, but I haven't learned that yet exactly. <laughs> but there's one drawer under here. Oh, sure. And it's okay. quite wide, wide, and I just put a couple of different dividers in there and yep. can store things. The other thing that's under here is the water filter. One of the things oh, yeah. that Embassy uh, puts, and this is... This is the heater blower here. This is the water filter. Not only is your water filtered when it comes in, but he uses something called no dirty water filter, and it actually uses ozone to purify the water. So I run that for about 15 minutes each week, and I have, I'm very assured that I have clean drinking water. Yeah, this is so great. Mm -hmm. One of the great things I think also is the amount of storage in an embassy RV and the size of the fridge, so maybe it's kind of yeah. gives a peek behind. Um, so this is a this is a um, Nova Cool fridge, and the top is a refrigerator. But then you also have this, and I'll open it in a minute. So this can be a freezer. So I can have a fridge, and I can have storage, which is usually how I run. I don't I don't usually use the freezer, and I just store this for my dry goods. Yep. Or you can store your bedding in here, or clothes, whatever. Um, because it has separate uh, controls, Thermostats, yeah. and uh, but this refrigerator is pretty massive. It's huge. And what I like about it is it has each one of these shelf layers has oh, yeah. so you can put for bottles. Top, yeah, like a bottle of wine yeah. that's fitting there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, that would definitely pass the yeah. fridge and then, and freezer test for school. Yeah, and then it has separate controls. So this controls the refrigerator. Yeah. And then there's a separate control for the freezer. Uh, which is inside of here and I find that any when I use this and I don't use the re, uh, freezer part it stays kind of cool in here so my dry goods are because yeah. it's underneath. underneath but you can have a refrigerator and a refrigerator if you want by the temperature you set you can have a refrigerator storage or a refrigerator freezer, freezer. So, super so you have a lot of options there options, mm -hmm. which is really nice. yeah and then in here you kind of have a pantry in here with pull-out drawers. Oh, sure. Yeah. Wow, so look how much space there is. Yeah, Holy and cow. what's cool about this is these are soft-closed drawers. Oh, do that again? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Soft-closed drawers, Travada and in all of the cabinetry, he puts a light in oh, yeah. here. So if you open it up at night and you don't want to wake up your significant other or your traveling companions, er, right. you can find what you're... Um, and then some more storage down here. So yeah. I just have a music stand. That is so great. Because <laughs> <laughs> you never know when you're going to have to break out in song. And this is the AC. So yours is yeah. a little different than some of the others. Yeah. But this is a Premier brand. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of typical, I'll use the word, because you got the big thing on the roof and then the, the, the thing inside. So that's... Right. Um, but the split system is also available as well. Yeah. Okay. And if did you want to hear the air conditioning? No. Okay. Yeah. But it is, it's, it's pretty good. Cool. I know Actually, that, yeah, turn on. Let's, let's, if it I takes know a that second. some people have said it's hard to have a conversation when you have it on high. So that's high. 
that's high. That's pretty cool. I mean, yeah, I can still hear you. And yeah, for sure. What's like? That's medium. medium. And that's low. That's actually pretty good. Uh -huh. And I'm getting a lot of hair, uh, air on my hair. Right. <laughs> That is really cool. It has pretty low profile, actually. Mm -hmm. You know, one finger about two inches, maybe. And it runs off a of 12 volt. I 12 do not volt, have really? the inverter on. Oh, that's special. So the only things that I have to have the inverter on for would be the microwave. If I use any of the 110 plugs. Yeah. Or the TV. Okay. TV. Otherwise, TV. everything can run off a of 12 volt. That is really unbelievable. All right. Well, thank you for that demo. I'm glad we did that. Um, how about, what time is it? Let's talk about toilets. Oh, <laughs> toilets. <laughs> Big joke in the RV community. What time of day before we have a toilet conversation? Well, this is the... So this uh, is the bathroom. Yes. And it so can also storage be... Storage above? Yep, storage above. Okay. Lots of storage, I mean. Yeah, humongous, right? Yeah. You've got some... Sunscreen, yeah, all kinds of towels, things. all sorts of things. Oh. What I love about this is this mm -hmm. is a big... Uh, vanity mirror even though i'm not that vain but it does <laughs> help so when you're you combing your hair the, all the, that's uh, right but it tilts out here yeah that's yeah. cool right yeah so yeah no sink how do you deal with that i guess you use this right here right yeah. i come here and for me that just steps from here so clearly not yeah. a problem and it's not that much of a hardship for me i know some people do like to have separate sinks and that's a whole different conversation right. for people but yeah i just use the sink here yeah, it makes sense no. so then what's behind door number two okay well and the, and the good thing because if this mirror didn't tilt out i'd have to like bend down here so that's what's that's okay point. door number two if i lift this up so this is a great place to put things to get ready but if i lift this up <gasps> there it is this is my composting toilet there it is right that is well hidden, but in plain sight. And not only that, but then, mm -hmm. oh, if yeah. I was going to take a shower, and again, because this is marine vinyl and marine plastic, Embassy does provide you with a shower curtain that has hooks up here that okay. you can protect everything. But again, if water does get outside, it wipes down very easy. And this is what you would use to shower with then. This is so what I use. It here. Yeah, and here's the drain yeah. down here. That's right. And there's the drain. And it can also extend out the back door. Oh, sure. So like if you wanted to just wash your feet off or wash or your hair or something like that. The bike that's got sand on it. Uh-huh. Or you could put up a shower curtain outside like some people do. And the compost, um, we're RVers, so we talk about toilets a lot. <laughs> Means that there's um, a separation of feces and urine. Is that the deal? Yeah, yeah. Um, it separates this, the solids from the liquids. And the handle crank here, which is yeah, it's clean. Oh, interesting. So this is a sea head toilet. Oh, um, I see. See, the, like there's hay or something down mm -hmm. in there. So you yeah. So I have some like hemp bedding in there, and that's where the solids would go, and then. Um, and then in the front, that's where the liquids, because if you think about it, when the liquids and the solids mix together, that's when you get sewage mm. and that's what smells. So if you can keep those, if you're, if you're walking Separate. your dog ever, right. you know, and it doesn't get the liquid on it it, it dries out and it really has no smell. So then once you're done, you just put this crank in and it, well, you got to close it, right, put the fine. crank in and then cover it up and then it helps dry out. The other thing I could do is I could remove that part and I could use a um, compostable plastic bag with a little bit of the bedding and stuff in it and then have, you Just know. Just discard the bag. Yeah, with each, okay. that's right. And it's very easy. Actually, I have a clean one here, but this is what captures the liquids. So a <laughs> good old when, milk jug. <laughs> yeah, so this, sea, is... this particular sea head, some of them come... Some of the compostable toilets come with a proprietary mm. uh, thing. And, you know, over time, it gets a little bit calcified and stuff like yeah. that on the inside. So basically, I just have to drink a gallon of milk or a gallon of distilled lemonade water. Lemonade or whatever. <laughs> Make vodka and lemonade. replace it. Yeah. That's super smart. And then wow. I just have like a, le a lemon vinegar essential oil kind of thing that I spray in there after each time. And yeah. Yeah, it doesn't smell at all. Yeah. Um, very 
So Nature's Head's the brand. Um, nope, it's a sea head. Sea head, sorry. Yeah, sea head. it's like Nature's Nature's okay, head, head, but it's um, but what I liked about it was, it it really is a glorified, uses a, a five gallon bucket, with that milk jug, but yet in a nice quality built unit. Mm -hmm. But if something breaks, I can go to Home Depot See, nice and fix thing. it. I'm not waiting for a part. Or yeah, that is so nice. Well, thank you for sharing your, mm -hmm. your stool. <laughs> <laughs> and and then, then it goes down, and then again, it's all totally out of the way, and you don't see it, which is really nice. That's right. And then I have some storage here for the lagoon table. Mm, right. A yoga mat. Of course. Some screens. Some people put their induction cooktop in there. Um, the other thing that you have, I don't know if you can get around there, Scott. I think so. But we've got more storage Holy here. Holy cow, huge amounts. And again, the soft clo closed drawers. Yep. Yeah, it's really cavernous. Yep, and then... Here's some lifting down here. So that's the battery in the Victron. Victron. But I have some storage that runs along here that I can put, like, um, umbrellas, a chair, fishing poles. So you can access it from outside the back and then in. And then I also have another cabinet. A wardrobe for hanging clothes. With a wardrobe. That's awesome. But some people are actually asking Terry at Embassy to put two. Like oh, he yeah. can fit drawers in both sides. So much storage. I know. It really is. And even standing behind you, Sherry, there's probably another, what, foot of storage? Um, yeah, I would say it's about 13 inches. Yeah. Which... See if we can peek in there. So that's humongous, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Again, for chairs, grills. I think my grill might even fit in there, actually. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of garage storage. Which the ProMaster gives you the shortest amount of extra storage back here. I actually have an e-bike. Mm. And I can. I, I found one that if I fold the handles down, that I can fit it the long way in here right. and take it with me and I don't have to. So I have it's an e-bike that I can store inside when I travel. That's so amazing. Mm -hmm. And this last thing, can you demo, um, so if I'm using the, the sea head, um, mm -hmm. how, how do I get some privacy? Yeah, so there's two um, doors and one of the things is, I'm going to use this one for a minute because when it's cold outside oh, yeah. and you want to control the temperature a little Sweet bit, idea. a lot of times I just... What? It's a pocket door? It's a pocket door. In a and van? Are you serious? Yeah. It's like, it's got this marine plastic here, but then it's affixed to a curtain. And I know with some Velcro, which uh, Terry is Big always one. rethinking and redoing yeah. his styles. And then that just slides back in there. Yeah, I like that. And then... You have to remember to strap these because th oh, yeah. that is the one thing. Well, probably day seven of the van I uh, <laughs> took off and I'm like, what? What's happening back there? And I had to pull over, park like you're saying, come yeah, back. And I've had the in. same thing. But yeah. Same, same um, idea up here then. Yeah. So you so have, uh, so when you shower, you have this, but when you want to come that way, you don't have to close up the front of the van. You can just bring right. your clothes in here. And it, I mean, because it takes this aisle way up, it really is quite roomy. Yeah, it's yeah. really, mm -hmm. really huge. Sherry, thanks again for touring your van. Um, there's a few more things we want to talk about. We're going to scoot around, but again, thanks for sharing the interior. I know it's kind of a private space. Um, it's just so important for people to see how others are you know, traveling in their van. So uh, thank you for that. One more thing we want to talk about. Sherry, just maybe share with us um, your availability story. Now you're, and then maybe help us with um, price. So my van is, uh, I picked it up in, uh, I ordered it in 2020 and it's a 2021. So I was just ahead of the severe chain supply issue. And I was looking for a van and my van came in at between 110 to 120,000. And I felt very lucky because I know that the price of vans are going up. Although the Ford Transit was like an additional, it, it was quite a chunk more. So that's mm. why I took the Ram Pro Master. Um, it was, it will take me where I want to go. Arrived in Indiana at the end of March and they started to build it in May and I picked it up in August. That's so great. So and I know that um, Embassy has done a lot to build out their build lines. A de they have a dedicated build line to Class B, so they have um, improved the build time. When, and they have also been pretty lucky. It was a quite a, a dry spot for chassis for a while, but they, they are getting their chassis in now and they are ramping that up, so yeah. 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 It's been fun to see them grow from what they when we first started working with them to, uh, to today. It's pretty mm -hmm. impressive growth. Yeah. And, um, what they don't do is grow at the expense of quality or um, innovation. And actually what I paid for the van 
was the same thing they paid to the uh, the dealer that they ordered it from. So you cut out the middleman, so you're going to save some of that uh, additional increase, and then they charge you for building out the van. So it really is you you cut out the middleman, and it is controlled custom, and they're wonderful to work with. Really, that's so great. So Sherry, just thanks again for um, sharing your, your your traveling house with us. Really.